What's up everyone? It's your girl Ray Vaughn from Love Lola and today we're going to be making some really cute bag charms. leather bag charms so what you need are just whatever color leather pieces that you want to use uh, I have an assortment of what just what I had I keep a lot of leather remnants um, laying around and so I just grab some different colors that I have also you want to grab some rivets to use to put in the center of these flowers or you can have like I think I'm gonna use one of these it's a prong I guess it's a rivet still but it's a, a prong backing I'm gonna use this I might use one of my bugs I haven't decided yet <laughs> in case you've never watched any of my videos I kind of do everything as I go I never really plan ahead of time so I may put one of these bugs on it I may do a rivet who knows but hopefully whatever I do it will come out cute um, you also could use, if you want to hang these, like you can attach these to the back or you can have them hang it like a charm. So you can use a, um, you know, like what do you call those things, like a key that goes on the keychain, the little round thing that you connect to a keychain. You can use that or I'm going to be using this tiny, look how tiny and cute this is. I'm going to be using this tiny little, I think it's called a, a spring lock or something. It's available on my site, but it just opens up and I'm going to use that to connect my piece okay so once you have all of that going we're ready to start for my flower templates i used just a free template i found on google i'll go ahead and link what i use but i also free drew some pieces like free handed it um so you really can just do whatever you want to do because these it doesn't have to be there is no perfect as flowers they're going to be withered that's the whole point so yeah grab some templates or just get to sketching whatever you want to do once you've got it drawn onto your leather, you want to cut it out. I did find a tip online that I thought was pretty helpful because, you know, leather is really tough. I broke my hand a couple of years ago and I still have issues with my wrist and my fingers when I do too much cutting. So this definitely helped me. The corners of your flowers, you know, like every time it goes into a point, you can push a hole at those points. And then that's going to help you when you get to the getting those corners cut out i did trace onto the back of my leather and so when you cut it you want to make sure that you're not those um the line that you drew to trace it that you cut inside of that so you don't have a mark on your leather but i did draw it on my back on the back of my leather to help just in case any of it gets left on it at least it will be on the back okay once you've get, gotten those holes cut out now you can go and um you know cut out the whole flower and it just makes it a little bit easier instead of trying to get in those corners yeah good stuff again this does not have to be perfect y'all it's flowers no flowers are perfect that's the beauty of nature right so just you know don't get all worked up about it this is supposed to be fun this is a fun little project Have fun with it. Get unique with it. Mm -hmm. I totally don't think I'm cutting on my lines. <laughs> it's okay. Again, it's all good in the hood. Nothing has to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, once you've got that done. Here we go. Now, once you've got that done, at least on the template that I used, you might have to snip a little bit in the corners from where you uh, made those holes if anything's kind of hanging over. Get that cleaned up a little bit. Okay, so a lot of the templates you will see like past where you cut, there's a line on the paper. I didn't transfer those lines because why should I? I'm just going to cut in a little bit more so that my... Don't cut in to where you don't have room for your rivet, but just cut in a little bit more to make it more of a petal. Does that make sense? OK. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go and do the same thing to my other pieces. I'm just cutting in past where the template ends. And that's just going to help the flowers wither up a little bit better. Y'all, I've never done this before. Okay. <laughs> We're doing this together. So I really mean it when I say it doesn't have to be perfect. Have some water. If you have PVC glue, which is like Elmer's glue or some kind of crafting glue, you can add a little bit of that to the water. But I don't have any and I didn't feel like going to the store. And I made this earlier without using PVC glue and it came out just fine. You can weld leather with just water, so it's okay. So now we're just going to get these dropped into the water. You could just rub a little bit of water on it and not saturate the whole thing. I'm just going to throw it all in there because, um, because I don't care. I don't have time to be rubbing water on stuff when I, mean, I could just dip it all in here. Hi, my name is Ravon and I'm impatient. <laughs> all right, and once you have that wet, you're just gonna take it out. <clears throat> Where can I put this? I'm gonna put it, oh, here's a, here's a something. I'm gonna put it on here because a random piece of material in my workspace, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> All right, I guess you can wring it out a little bit. Interesting. It looks like it's changing colors on me. I don't know if an, one of the other leathers is bleeding a little bit or what, but it seems like, or maybe it just looks like this because it's wet. I don't know. We're learning together. So note to self, if you really care, do not soak light colored leather with dark colored leather. You know what, that black leather, I think that I do recall using that before and it bled a little bit. Like it uh, transferred, I guess not bled, but I had it on some other material. Yep, look, I'm, you see that black coming off and I squeeze that? Yep, so this black leather is, a little bit of color is coming off. I remember when I posted that, yeah, I, I was like, y'all, have y'all ever had leather rub off? And uh, some people were like, yeah. One lady was like, yeah, that happens with cheap leather. And the leather was kind of cheap, I guess. I got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, so I don't know if that's true, if it's cheap leather or what, because I had another lady respond that she has some expensive high-end leather that she has purchased before and the color rubbed off on um, something else as well. So it may not be a cost thing it may just be a dye thing or I don't know let me know in the comments if you've ever had that happen with any of your leathers if the color rubbed off on you know on a bag if it rubbed off on the other part of the bag or if you've ever done any crafting and it's rubbed off I am interested to hear okay so at this point what we're going to do is we're gonna kind of mold it now you can get really specific with it I don't think you need to because it's flowers they're never perfect. So what I'm going to do for this one is, I want, since these are bigger pieces, I am going to fold the outside down. The, I have an overcast now. The sun is going away. Do you see that? Can you see me? Should I turn on lights? I didn't think I needed to, but it's getting pretty dang dark in here. Let's see if that's too bright. Did that help? I think that's a little better. <clears throat> okay so since these pieces are bigger what I'm going to do is I want it to kind of go like that I believe yes I want the outsides to bend down 
So I'm going to bend out, bend down the outsides, and then I'm going to have it meet in the middle like that. See? And then I'm going to clamp it. Again, do it how you want to do it. It does not have to be perfect. This is just how I'm doing it. Just You just want to bend it. Bend it in the shape that you want to bend it in. I got these big clamps from Amazon. I will post a link down below if you're interested in them. Dang, I feel like it dried up already. Surely not. Surely not. I just waited a little bit more. Probably not necessary, but I did it. Okay. All right. Bam. Now let's do the rest of these. I think for these, I'm just going to kind of want to twist it. Yeah, I'm going to twist it a little bit. Let's see what happens. So I bent the middle, I bent the bigger part like I did before. And then I just kind of took the end and started twisting. Again, nothing specific. I'm just playing around and twisting. Don't think about it too much. Just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh gosh, is that going to be a copyright issue? Let me shut up. Okay. Now let's do some more. Where did the string come from? That's weird. I feel like all these pieces are drying up so fast. That's crazy. Okay, and these, hmm. I'm just gonna bend these in half and rotate it. So I'm gonna bend this piece, string go away. I'm gonna bend this piece where the right sides are touching and the next piece where the wrong sides are touching. Right side, and I'm gonna just rotate it. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of these. You know what, this one, I think I'm just going to twist and see what happens. So I'm just going to twist it in one direction and pin it. I'll probably rotate directions just because I want it to look natural. So I'm just twisting. That's all I'm doing is twisting and clamping. Rotating directions. I think the next one I can bend in half and do it. Save myself some time. Yeah, there we go. Up. Down. Oh, all right, last piece. And this one, I'm just doing whatever. Some I'm twisting, some I'm bending in half once, some I'm bending in half twice. I'm really just kind of doing whatever. It's an experiment. I want to see if it looks good if you do different things with it. Like I said, <laughs> we're learning together. I feel like the more random, the better, so I'm not too concerned about it. And if you don't like it, guess what? You can always go back and wet it and mold it again. It's not that serious. Okay. So now we need to let our leather dry. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. 
and then should have its shape. Um, I don't feel like waiting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have an idea. Living in the ghetto. Let's go see. Okay. Who wants to walk with me downstairs? <laughs> I have an idea of what I can do to help speed up the process for my leather. My house is probably dirty, so excuse my mess. But I have an idea. <laughs> uh, let me go to the pantry. <laughs> and get some full. Okay. Oh, there's my alcohol. Oh, it's Friday. I may get a cocktail today. What do I got? I haven't been over here in a minute. What am I move for? I think I might, I'm not even a Jameson person, but I think I might sip on some Jameson. I don't know, we'll see. Focus, Ray, focus. <laughs> okay. We're down here. Anyway, um, okay, so I put some foil over this tray and I'm going to put this in my toaster oven to speed up the drying process. Nothing high, like maybe like two, 250, like a toast. All right, and maybe that'll help it dry a little bit faster because in case you don't know, I'm impatient, I got stuff to do. We'll see how this works. Don't try this at home, or try it at home, but this is a disclaimer if anything bad happens. It ain't on me, okay? <laughs> but I think it should be fine on a low temperature, right? We'll see. ready <laughs> just kidding all right let's see it's really not that hot yeah it feels dry all right let's get these upstairs okay let's see what we're working with that you can really change the shape of leather with water. Now you can see a little bit of the clamp marks on some pieces, not all. Let me see, can you see that right there, that line? I'm not too worried about it, but just trying to be as transparent as possible. <laughs> oh gosh, how cute. So cute. Okay, so let's see. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna do. It's kind of pretty. So I'm going to do one of these. It's kind of pretty. Okay, so for this first one, I was kind of thinking of putting one of my bugs in the middle. 
so let's see where's my flower yeah i think that'd be pretty to have a flower in the middle okay yeah i'm gonna do a flower in the middle now <laughs> i'm gonna just press this into the flower to get an indention i'm just placing it right in the middle And then you can use um, an X-Acto knife or something to get that cut. But because I'm dealing with so many layers and this, this leather is pretty thick, I'm just going to punch a hole in it. I think that'd be easier for me. And then I'm going to place my rivets through that how cute is that um yeah and this is a more weathered flowered look if you want it to be a little less you know rugged looking then don't do as many bends and folds as i did and then it'll be a little bit more into the shape of what you cut you can just kind of mold it by hand or you don't even have to mold it. You can leave it in the shape that it's in. It's really just what you're in the mood for. So there's that one. Super cute. And let's see, where's the other one? Okay. Oh, I forgot to add a connector. Hmm. Okay, and we are going to need something to hang this by. So let's grab our leather. And I'm gonna cut this probably um oh maybe I can be really extra and have this hang off the bottom. That'd be cute, huh? So extra. Is this half of an inch? No, this is more like one a little this is more like one, two, three eighths of an inch. All right, so let's cut this. If, it, if this piece happens to be long enough, I'm gonna let a tail hang and I'll add that little zipper into it. If it's not long enough, then I'll just go about my business. That's how I make decisions around here. It's pretty lazy, right? All right, so I'm gonna cut this about 3 8, three eight of an inch wide. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Have you ever had fun like this? Okay. So I have cut this piece about about nine inches long, but it really just depends on the size flower that you made, you know? And then I'm going to fold it over so that it's long enough to where I can attach whatever I'm going to use to hang this with. So I'm just gonna grab my flower to gauge the length that I need it to be and about right there. And I'm gonna place it where it's between two flowers. You know, I don't want it to be coming out behind the, the petal. It's gonna be right in between two. All right. Once I have the distance that I need it to be, you see I've folded it over I'm going to grab my flower prong and use that again to find the distance for my holes. Okay. And 
And then I'm going to get those punched in. So I'm placing my prongs through. And then I'm folding this over. Placing it through there as well. Okay, pushing down as far as I can. And then I'm just going to push my hardware out or right in. I think I'll push it in. That works for me. Okay. And I'm going to give a quick whack of my hammer. Other side. There we go. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to just for fun, <laughs> I'm gonna add this little it's a zipper in actually. Okay, and I'm just going to bend this over so that it's got a little bit more thickness to it insert it and then get the screw attached all right and there we have it how cute Okay, and for to hang this, I'm going to be using, I have some tiny little um, 10 millimeter spring locks on my website. I'm just going to grab one of these. I have a link to my site with all of my hardware. And get it in there. And that's it. And I love these because you can just attach it to anything. You just attach it to your bag. Uh, you're going to attach it to a keychain. You can attach it to whatever you want. All right. That one's done. Let's see. Okay, for this next one, I have this beautiful vinyl from your vinyl source that I am using on a bag or that I just used to make a bag. And I just love these flowers. I love the color. I love everything about it. So... What I did was I went ahead and cut one of these flowers out. And now I am going to trace it on a piece of leather. And I'm just freehand tracing it. I wanted it to have a little bit of an outline. Um, so it's about one eighth, it's gonna be about one eighth of an inch bigger than what this is. Okay, you see I just traced around it. And now I'm going to cut that out, making sure that I cut inside of the line so that I don't have any I don't want that showing. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, girl. Now, what you can do, which I did on my other piece that I did like this, is you can stitch around the top, the outline, not the top, stitch around the outline to connect your flower to the leather. So you would just, um, where'd my flower go? Oh God, please. How do I misplace stuff so easily? I just had that, right? Where would it be? Where would I have put that flower? I don't have to, oh, there it is. Okay, so what you can do is, let's find it. Okay, this. What I did last time was I placed it on top 
I put double-sided tape underneath it to get it to adhere to each other and then I just stitched along that outline. I don't feel like doing that today. So I am just going to get it glued on. So I'm going to use my cement glue. And apply it. I like to use the back of this little cutting board when I'm dealing with this glue. You do have to get glue on both sides whenever you're using cement glue. You have to get glue on both um, materials that you're gluing together. So I'm going to try my best to estimate about how far it goes out, giving myself a little bit of room for error. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and get it attached. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and while I was waiting, I went ahead and dipped just my edges into some water and folded them because I wanted to have a little bit of a wrinkle to it but not as prominent as the other ones. So that's what I did and okay, that's perfect. I like the way that looks. Great. Okay, now let me get these together see this way is that right And I think I want to put one of my insects on this one instead of the flower. Uh, nope. Oh, I kind of like that one, but nah. Maybe I'll use the same one. I think that's my favorite. All right, this one. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, and this one has a screw back, so I'll just go ahead and poke a hole down the, in the middle or, you know, where I want it to be. Oh, I need to make a little thing to hang it by. Mm -hmm. Back in the truck. Oh, yeah. Should I do two pieces to hang off the bottom? I am so extra what is wrong with you I blame my mom <laughs> if you know my mom you know that she is extra I think I'm going to use, <clears throat> so for some of these, I made this part that you can attach something to. You also have the option of just poking a hole in a corner of a flower and either, either, either just using that hole to burn something through or you can put um, like a, what are those called? Like a, what is it? Like a little bitty grommet, you know? A little it's round and it has a hole in the middle anyway to make it look cleaner and then you can run a chain through it I think that's what I'm gonna do for this one uh, yeah yeah that's what I'm gonna do for this one keep it simple I was thinking about adding a piece like this and letting two pieces hang from it But then I decided that I was being extra. I was gonna have two pieces hang from it. Like this. Mm -hmm. 
and then put you know make one a little bit shorter than the other one and then attach these to that is that being too extra it's kind of cute right let me do that what is life for if not to be extra I may do that. Okay, we'll see. Anyway, let me get the holes put in here so I can get this attached. All right. I need to get all of my hardware put away. I bought a bin, but I haven't put it together yet, and it is driving me crazy. My hardware is all over. My workspace, every time I need something, I have to go and go through all of those packages until I find the right one, and it is driving me completely insane. Okay. Okay, I think I want her to face this way. That looks like fun. Okay. Now, if you want to use metal glue to um, inside of your screw, when you do this, you can. And there we have it. We've got some bag charms. How adorable are these? They are so cute and so easy. If you decide to make some, please tag me in it. I want to see it. Tag me on social media. I'll put all of my information down below. Tag it in my baggy baddies group. I want to see it. I am so pumped. Okay, now I have to go make some bags to put these on. <laughs> all right, till next time. Bye.